France has tested M51 SLBM. The missile was launched from Le Triomphant class Le Temeraire S617. The Le Triomphant class is a class of four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBN, of the French Navy, built by DCNS, currently known as Naval Group. They replaced the Le Redoubtable class from 1997. They were commissioned in 1997, 1999, 2004, and 2010. Each of these submarines has 16 submarine-launched ballistic missile launching tubes and are armed with M51 ballistic missiles for nuclear deterrence. Apart from this, these submarines carry torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. The firing took place off Brittany in western France. The M51 SLBM was tracked throughout its flight phase by sensors of Ship Mong, A601. The fallout zone was located in the North Atlantic and it was chosen since it's far off from any coast. According to an official statement, this test was carried out without nuclear warhead and in strict compliance with France's international commitments. This firing validates the operational capacity of the SSBN, Le Temeraire's global weapons system, and once again demonstrates the high-tech excellence that French industries are implementing in this area. Some reports indicate that testing was done to verify the working of M51.3, which is an underdeveloped variant of the M51. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all defense updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The United States is delivering a shipment of $60 million worth of military equipment to Ukraine. As per the U.S., the supply is in support of Ukraine's effort in the fight against Russian aggression. The embassy said in a statement that the shipment, which arrived in Ukraine on Tuesday and includes Javelin anti-tank missiles, ammunition, and radios, is part of security assistance and cooperation efforts. The statement said, the United States stands strongly with Ukraine in support of its sovereignty and territorial integrity in the face of Russian aggression. Viewers may note that Ukraine's military has been fighting Russian-supported rebel groups in eastern Ukraine near the Russian border. This is going on for more than six years. Russia has always denied that it's directly involved in the conflict, though it's an open secret. The conflict erupted after Kiev removed its pro-Russian president in early 2014. This was seen as a political shift toward the West. As per United Nations, more than 13,000 people have been killed in the conflict. New satellite images show Russian MiG-29 Fulcrums and Su-24 fencers in the air at Al Jafra Air Base in Libya. U.S. Africa Command, or AFRICOM, released two images of Al Jafra, which it said were taken on June 18, 2020. One showed an Su-24 fencer taking off from the base, and the other one showed a MiG-29 parked in front of an aircraft shelter. A P-18 spoonrest radar is also visible. Viewers may note that the P-18 is a long-range surveillance radar that can be used for early warning and to provide general increased situational awareness and air traffic control. The images indicate that Russia is getting more involved in Libya. As per reports, Russia sent at least 14 combat jets in total to the North African country last month to support Libyan strongman Khalifa Haftar, and these jets are increasingly playing an active role. U.S. Marine Corps Brigadier General Bradford Gehring, the Director of Operations at AFRICOM, 
said in a press release accompanying the images, Russia's sustained involvement in Libya increases the violence and delays a political solution. Russia continues to push for a strategic foothold on NATO's southern flank, and this is at the expense of innocent Libyan lives. President Donald Trump has confirmed reports that stated he intends to remove thousands of American troops from Germany. Trump told a small group of reporters at the White House, Germany, as you know, is delinquent on their payments to NATO. They owe NATO billions and they know it. Why should we be doing what we're doing if they don't pay? He basically accused Germany of not paying its due to NATO. Trump said he would withdraw some 9,500 American troops from Germany, reducing the force size there to about 25,000 until Germany spends more money on its defense. Viewers may note that Trump has long called for Germany and other NATO allies to increase military spending. He's of the view that the United States bears too much of the cost for Europe's defense and the EU countries should pull more weight. Tension in the Korean Peninsula is set to rise in the coming days. North Korea is planning to restart military exercises on its border with South Korea. Reports also indicate that it plans to send soldiers to areas that were previously joint sites for industry and tourism. According to state media, the North Korean Army's leadership has stated the troops will be sent to the industrial park in the border town of Kaohsiung as well as the Kumgang Mountains on the east coast. Pyongyang's plans came a day after North Korea destroyed an inter-Korean liaison office on its territory in Kaohsiung. The state media also said guard posts in the military buffer zone between the two countries are planned to be re-established. South Korea's unification ministry expressed strong regret over the North's plans to activate troops in the area and said, we urge it to stop worsening situations further. According to Yan Hop, Jean Dong Fin, director of operations of South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, said, if the North actually takes such a move, it will certainly pay the price for it. Both India and China have suffered significant casualties in the biggest ever military confrontation between the two armies in over five decades. The clashes took place in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley. The Indian Army stated that 20 Army personnel, including a colonel, were killed. China didn't disclose its numbers. Indian radio intercepts indicate that China lost 43 of its men. U.S. officials said, quoting intelligence sources, that the Chinese Army suffered 35 casualties. Initial reports indicate that both sides had disarmed for a meeting late Monday to discuss how the two militaries would safely withdraw their presence from the region. The meeting turned violent, with both sides using spiked batons, knives, rocks, and other improvised weapons to attack each other. Some of the casualties seem to be caused by falls from the steep terrain. India has often seen casualties in the border regions with Pakistan, but this is new for China. Non-disclosure of fatalities from the Chinese side indicate that they may have lost more troops than India, and this is being seen as an embarrassment. President Donald Trump said that the United States is talking to both India and China to help them resolve their ongoing border tensions. Trump told reporters at the White House, It's a very tough situation. We're talking to India, we're talking to China. They've got a big problem there, he added. They've come to blows and we'll see what happens. We'll try to help them out. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said, The PLA, People's Liberation Army, has escalated border tensions with India, the world's most populous democracy. It's militarizing the South China Sea and illegally claiming more territory there, threatening vital sea lanes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.